For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that how to install Bugzilla the software uh, which is a bug tracker software setup so how we can do that um, which is basically used for most of the times the QA team like quality analysis team to tracking the bugs if they find any bugs on the while testing the software so they will uh, add the bug, uh, bug details on the software then based on the development progress they will mark the bug trackers to be a resolved unresolved something like that so let's see how what is this actually so the bugzilla is a robust and featureful and mature defect tracking system uh, or bug tracking system so which is basically used for tracking the bugs on the system so defect tracking system allows teams to developer to keep track of the outstanding bugs problems issues enhancement and other change requests in their products effectively simple defect tracking capable are often built into integrated source code management environments such as github or other web-based locally installed equivalents so this is what the bugzilla does so let's see what the features it provides for the users so who are accessing as a normal users who will get all of these features like advanced search capability email notifications controlled by the user preferences like you can set your preference when you want to receive your notifications on the bug so bug list in multiple formats so this is the uh, I calendar all of these data so you will get it so that you can set your uh, re reminders uh, scheduled reports example daily weekly hourly by email so whatever you want to uh, based on your requirement you can schedule your reports so okay uh, reports and chart automatic duplicate bug detection so example if you are already uh, open a one bug report uh, bug then if you are opening again same similar bug report then it detects that okay there is already bug is exist with the similar bug so it will detect the duplicates if any so file modify bug by email uh, time tracking request system private attachments and components automatic username and completion drop down user list patch viewer uh, watch other users example um, you are a team lead and manager then you wanted to watch other uh, users what the team is doing then you can also watch that users uh, on this move bugs between installs uh, save and share uh, searches so this is what the uh, normal users will get and what administrators will get so administrators will get an excellent security so basically you can uh, that's what the administrators needs uh, for them and uh, extension mechanism highly customizable installations and custom fields custom workflows fully unicode support okay localization like example you can set your time zone and localization um, things like the changing the language and all and uh, mode underscore pearl support for the excellent performance so that is the module on the pearl um, web services like it's an interface um, so it is a web web based interface control bug visibility editing with groups okay impersonate users example if you want to switch with switch to the any of the user from the web console you can just switch to that user particularly multiple authentication methods uh, so you can also integrate this with the uh, other authentications so most of the times you don't want to create normal users and provide the access instead you can just directly add the ad authentication which the users can directly log in with their uh, username and password support for multiple database engines okay and uh, it also have the sanity check on based on the software so let's see uh, and uh, jump into the centers 8 and uh, install this bugzilla application 
and see how it works. Let's start the Bugzilla tracker installation. So DNF install. First of all, we need to install EPL release package, uh, which is M repository. So now DNF install and EPL repository installed. Now config the power tool uh, using the DNF config iPhone manager iPhone iPhone set enabled power tools. Uh, so which will be enabling the power tools uh, uh, capability now install the required Perl and the required dependent packages uh, which are Perl, Capon and Perl, DB MySQL and C language which is GCC and uh, GD, GD development package and graph which so which is G R A P H V I Z and patch tools and Perl CGI and Perl date time date and time so which is a date and time package to be set for the time zone and uh, uh, reports which uses this module on the Perl to set the date and time and uh, template toolkit uh, email sender Perl email sender toolkit and Perl email sender and Perl email mime package uh, which is formatting the email mechanism and uh, Perl list more utilities and Perl uh, mathematic random and Perl JSON access Perl GD and duplicate curl so these are the packages required for dependency so here there is a mistake on the graph face let's correct it graph page now installed so the package is being installed uh, on the server so it will take a lot of time to install since there are so many dependencies on the packages um, so now install the httpd and httpd devil those are the two packages for web server uh, installation and now uh, enable and start the um, web service no need to start now so i just enable the web service for now so which will be a startup enabler so now um, I did the configuration file of the m.repos.d for installing the MariaDB package. Add this maria.repo file and uh, enter this um, m configuration, uh, so which is basically required for installing the MariaDB packages. So I just say MariaDB and base URL. You just say. Um, without spelling mistakes okay if you have any spelling mistakes your m repository does not work okay so and be careful here entering m dot moria db dot org slash 10 dot 5 slash centos 8 iphone md64 that is the package we need to install So now uh, gpg key file uh, which is https m dot repos m dot uh, mariadb dot org and rpm gpg key mariadb so spelling mistakes and upper letter uh, small letters 
so okay, you have to type as it is otherwise it won't work so the it is a case sensitive that's why you have to type it carefully and gpg check enabled equal to one so which means that uh, one is called as an enabled and save this file and exit now install the uh, dependent package which is galera 4 So that dependent packages has been installed. Now let's uh, install the MariaDB packages here. So DNF disable the the app stream repo. So we don't want to conflict the MariaDB packages uh, from there. So and install um, MariaDB iPhone server and MariaDB iPhone client. Say yes. So now which will install the both the packages of MariaDB client and server so now let's start the service systemctl start MariaDB and run my sql secure underscore installation and here set the uh, root password for the first time and uh, switch the socket to the unix yes and uh, change the root password yes and uh, enter the new password and confirmation password and uh, remove the anonymous users you don't want and uh, disallow root login remotely no and remove the test database yes and uh, reload the privileges so this way our mariadb database setup is completed now let's uh, log into the mariadb and um, create the database and create the uh, user with the permissions create database uh, database name so what is the database name you would like to utilize in this case i am using bugzilla is the database name i would like to create it or you can also use anything so that's up to you so it's a identical name so that's why it's a bugzilla now uh, grant the user permissions uh, to the whatever the user you would like to give the permission on bugzilla so that is the database name and uh, to the user so i say uh, here the username is uh, bug admin on the local host and identified by the password which password you would like to specify for the that particular user you can specify i use bugzilla as a password as well so simple and flush the privileges and exit from the uh, this mysql database so that's it our database setup and uh, mysql username password at the mariadb username password is set now edit the configuration file and um, add this detail so the my configuration file uh, on this and there is a one parameter we need to allow the maximum um, mb on the mariadb so under the mariadb you can just write this max allowed and the packet size is 16 megabytes m So now restart the uh, MariaDB service to take the effect of that configuration what we have added. Now systemctl restart MariaDB. So that's the database side setup. Now let's uh, download the package. Just switch to slash tmp and uh, download this bugzilla package uh, which is using the wget command here so i just copy paste that url here okay now extract this package uh, bugzilla and now what you can do is that you can simply move this package just to the uh, web location uh, which is where wwstml and say bugzilla 
so that it moves to that location now switch to that uh, location cd var wwstml then execute this command so perl install module dot pl iphone all so it will install all the required perl modules for you so it will take a lot of time since it is downloaded from the kapan and install these um, modules of the perl then it little time so i just fast forwarded this installation so it takes time now after completing this step so now just run this um, setup check setup pl so you can see that so all the packages should be found on this now so what we have to do is that we have to configure the database parameters uh, and uh, edit the files and provide the database parameters on the configuration file so that um, setup will be completed so the setup uh, will automatically fetch the database details and connect to the database and uh, creates the required tables and um, all this stuff so now what we can do is that it just uh, edit this configuration file for the database so which is vi slash ww html bug and uh, local config file and now go to the database connection details and specify the host name local host and uh, database name is um, bugzilla and username is uh, bug admin and uh, password what you have created while using this uh, mysql then uh, port number you can specify otherwise you can leave it uh, 3306 is the default port number and if you have a socket name you can just provide it so that's that's the database connection file details and uh, save this configuration file So now run again setup check setup.pl so which will verify the setup and uh, do the remaining configuration for us. So it creates the database tables and all this templating stuff everything and it's complete. So enter the email address so which is the admin login uh, email address so you have to enter it here so in my case i am just entering my gmail address here and uh, enter the real name of the administrator so enter the name and password of that admin account so remember it so this is the admin account you have to log into the boxilla and retype the password for verification so now setup is completed successfully let's create the web configuration file for bugzilla so which is slash etc httpd conf.d and create the new file with the configuration which say bugzilla.conf so easy to identify now uh, add the virtual host directory here and the configuration so that um, uh, the bugzilla folder will be redirected so when we browse to the http uh, on the website so this is the virtual host configuration we required to access the uh, bugzilla configuration so the web, web configuration so now server name what are the server name or dns entry you have uh, so that is the name you have to provide it here so uh, in my case server name uh, bugzilla.techrkt.local and document root which is basically where your bugzilla download uh, is going so which is the default location we configured and moved that packages and configure the directory uh, permissions so the directory permission is where wwstml bugzilla and uh, so you have to add the cgi handler the cgs script handler and uh, 
options for the indexing and executing the CGI packages and directly index to the uh, index.cgi file so the default index file is uh, index.cgi and uh, file info overrides options you have to so i just copy paste this configuration uh, instead of typing it manually over here so the same configuration i provide it on the uh, description so you can just um, click on the link and copy paste this configuration files uh, so while manually typing so you don't need to type manually so i already made that details available on the website so that's the virtual host configuration save this file and verify the syntax um, whether all the syntax is right uh, so acha assign the permissions first apache uh, you need to have the owner permissions on that box in the location so now verify the syntax as tbd if and t so if any syntax error correct it uh, on the above bugzilla.configuration configuration file uh, if not then restart the httpd configuration file so now our web server is set up successfully and uh, let's turn off the um, security or allow the security to set up so the we don't want to waste our time in debugging the um, se linux so that's why you can simply disable this se linux or uh, put it in permissive mode so that it won't uh, disturb your application so set and force zero then system ctl stop the firewall if you want or you can just set the rule uh, to allow this httpd so if it is only simple single application is running on this and just simply add this http service on the allow list of the firewall ports http and https if you later on uh, upgrade the ssl certificate then reload the privileges on the firewall so now let's test this url whether the url is working the bugzilla is working fine or not so in order to do that in the same bugzilla location we have the uh, perl package called test server dot pl So then provide the URL. So with httpd colon slash slash localhost since we are using the localhost here. So now see all the test is okay. Then you are good to go and sign into your um, web page and see your application is working fine. So now let's jump into the browser. So now I'm capturing the IP address and uh, provide. So this is the Bugzilla interface. So now let's log in and try with this uh, default administrator account, uh, which is provided while installing the application and provide this password what you have used it and click on login. That's it. You are now into the Bugzilla admin page. So you can do whatever the settings you would like to do on the Bugzilla setup. That's it for the installation. Please follow us on social networking sites. Uh, one is uh, Facebook. The Facebook page name is uh, at Linux ARKIT. Uh, you can click on this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on Facebook the next one is instagram uh, instagram name page name is arkit.co.in click on follow button to follow me and uh, twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just with me at a ravikumar48 
so I will reply you most on the tweet back for anything related if you want to latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here 